Hey, this is Mayer. Here's my trace for the day. Hi traders, welcome to my recap, my day trading recap. Take a look at TLRY, which is gapping up over 8%. I'm getting ready to go long over the highs. Now notice the number of sellers at 89, which is the highs. Also notice the number of sellers at $26. I'm about to go long, going long right now. Just before it moved over the highs, click that button. It broke out over the highs. Now it's a quick forward so that you can see what happened right after it did move over the highs. My target is approximately 40 cents, which is the same as my stop loss, one to one risk reward. That's the way I'm trading. I'm about to take my partial right over here. Now, just reached my target. It was a classic gap and go. A stock that is gapping up over 8%, actually over 3% is enough. But the bigger the gap, the more interesting it becomes. More greed drives it higher. And uh, Taylor White just uh, did the job. And traders, if you like this trade, I would really appreciate if you give us a thumb up. It will help our channel, help more people like you watch day trading video, helps the YouTube algorithm to find more people that are interested in trading. Now let's take a look at the rest of my trades today. Next trade is Spotify SPOT spot. Now take a look at spot. Uh, it's, um, it's having a big, big spread. And uh, that's a quite a big concern for me right now, like 30, 40, 50 cents, maybe more. I'm about to short it because I love the technical formation. Shorting now 4,000 shares. But look at the immediate result here. I'm down $2,600, which is in fact the spread around 15, now a little bit more than that. Now let's uh, fast forward and see what happens there. You need to notice again, the stock started with a big gap down. Earlier we were going for a gap and go long. Now we're going for a gap and go short. The stock is down 7%. Now it is trending lower. I like the fact that uh, initially it came down and then it tried to move higher. The failure to move higher is very, very important. It takes the buyers out. That's the point where the buyers like to average down their loss. That's the point where think, people thinking that, well, they can probably go long and uh, make a lot of money from a stock that is down 8%, catching a falling knife, which we never ever do. Now, we just reached my target. I'm up $14,000, taking my partial right here. And that was an amazing trade. Now, the stock just came down to the lows. It's very, very likely to continue down. As you can see, it's clearly trending lower. Just remember, never catch a falling knife. If you've got a chance to buy a stock that is down 8%, make sure it's trending higher. Best, don't touch it at all. It's likely to move higher from the lows because there's a lot of people who love to average down their losses. There's a lot of people who think, well, it's a great company. It's probably going to continue higher. Maybe, maybe in the next month, maybe in two years from now, you never know. Stocks which are coming down are not always returning higher. You need to remember that. The only ones who really return are parents for children who got lost in the mall. They're the ones who return. That's a trader's jokes, of course. But again, the idea is quite simple. Don't catch a falling knife, short it. Next trade, BABA. Well, actually, I did not post BABA. That was Scott's trade and Scott took it at 264. I'm about to join at 265 because the technical formation here is just absolutely amazing. Because you see, it's the same idea again. That's a gap and go. BABA is up right now over 4%. Now notice it's just about to move 265 and I'm about to click the button, clicking here actually did not move, but about to move. Anyway, I'm going to fast forward it right now so you can see what happened there. And uh, the technical formation again in Baba is just amazing. Uh, and I'm sorry that it's kind of boring because, you know, us day tradings, we in fact do the same thing all the time. We're looking for the same pattern, looking for the same ways to trade a stock. Uh, all you've seen me doing today is just gaps and goes. One of them was long, tail and wire earlier, one of them was short, and now the same idea again. Now, Baba took some time. As you can see, it just went sideways, but finally it has decided to move over the highs and it's about to do so. Now I'm still long 4,000 shares. It's just moving over the highs here. It's a nice breakout formation. And again, you always have to buy it before it moves to a new high. The uh, idea in day trading is not to go exactly with the technical formations, you know, over the highs, but to expect a new move. And here's how it happened. Just moved over. I'm up almost one point, right point, right now, one point, taking my partial. And that was a lovely long trade in Baba. And Scott actually did better because he took it one point before me. 
And my last trade today, INO. INO is down 5%. Now, does that look familiar? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the same idea. Stock is down big way. Try to move higher. Failed. I'm about to show right here. I'm going to show 12,000 shares in this one because it's not a big mover. The stop lies at around 20 cents. And my target is the same. I'm always working for a one-to-one -one risk reward. The advantage of a one-to-one -one risk reward is that I start with 50%. And if I do better, well, my average is 68%. That makes me feel better. If you go for one to two risk reward, usually your chance to succeed is less than 50%. You still make money, but uh, you know your um, you know your mental balance is a little bit different than mine. Now take a look at how I know behaves. Now that comes the big crash. I'm about to take my partial right at this point because it just reached my target. Again, it's not a big mover. I'm up $1,600, as you can see here, looking for the first sign of a pullback, about to cover. I'm going to cover 1100 200 right now, and uh, just took my partial. And it will continue coming down. Now, does that all look familiar? Uh, we're always trading uh, gaps and goes. Does that look a little bit boring for you? Well, you know, traders use the same systems all of the time. If something works out for me right well, let it be boring. I'm still making money, right? So I, I know did very well. Now let's take a look at my results. Well, traders have been only trading for 36 minutes today. And here's the results. You can see that I have one losing trade, which I didn't show you. It was really boring X, but I've got one loser and uh, four winners, which is a great result. I also have some open trades here. Now, you may remember I was trading GME and AMC re recently, and look at GME I'm up over $20,000, and it's still going. I've been shorting it for more than 200 points, just 100 shares, and that's just absolutely amazing. I just open up my platform every day, and I love what I see, and AMC is also doing good. So, well, you know, these stocks are going to return to zero, or close to zero, and I do, and I do expect to Keep following them. Well, traders, thank you very much for joining. And if you want to see more day trading content, just make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you will be notified of my future uploads. And if you do like to trade with me and uh, with my book and join my trading room, there's a lot of free links right here below. And we will really appreciate if you give us a thumb up and just uh, keep safe and stay green. Thank you for watching.